Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hi, this is Ghafran. In this video, I will show you how to make a boat water game in Scratch 3.0. So let's start. Uh, this is my code. This is my code area. This is my stage. And I don't need the sprite. So I will remove this uh, cat sprite. So just remove it. Okay, good. Now I have to add my backdrop. So click choose a backdrop. And I am choosing a blue sky backdrop. So I am clicking on it. Okay, good. Now just click on back, uh, backdrop tape and remove this backdrop one. And I am choosing, uh, I'm filling this color. Uh, just check this and click on this paint and color it. Okay, now I am all right, click on it and duplicate it. So I will rename it as a game over. I need two backdrop for my project. One is blue sky and another is game over. So I will here, I will type game or select all and make it a color red. Now increase its size. That's great. Okay. Now I have uh, created two backdrops for my project. Now for my backdrop, I will add some code. So for this, I need a variable, a score for my project. So click on variables and click on my make a variable and here i will rename as a score okay good click enter so i have added my score into my project so click on this backdrop and here i will add some code for my score block score option so just click on events and click on this when flag clicked so initially when i click on flag so the score will be zero so set my score to zero. Now, foreverly, the score will be increasing after one second, one by one. So for this, I will choose a forever block. And in this, I will choose a change score by one. And after one second, wait one second. So when I click on flag, so it will change score by one by one. Sorry, uh, click on this change score by one. Now, when I click on flag, so it is changing its score one by one. Okay, good. Now I'm adding uh, another uh, sprite. So my another sprite will be uh, border lines into my this project. So for this, I will need a create a uh, paint. Choose a sprite and click on paint option. So here I will uh, add some two borders into my project. One here and another one is dual. So for this, I will choose, uh, click on this rectangle option. Just click on this and click this fill option. That is uh, green. Okay, good. So it will be my, and the uh, size will this for me, that is eight. <laughs> Sorry, two. Okay, now I'm filling it. Just right click and drag this. Okay, good. Now, same to same, copied it. Just copied it. Okay, good. And now paste it. That's great. Now, just put this into this, in this position. That's great. So, okay, good. So, for this uh, option that is sprite, I will rename it. This is, that is border. So, these are the border for my project. Now, I click on code. So click on code just uh, whenever I uh, flag has been clicked. So this position will be at the center, at the center of my stage. So for this, I will just add this block that is go to X zero, Y zero. So just click on flag. So you can see this, these border are in the accurate position. Now, uh, these are on the front. So we have to go back to one layer. So just, uh, there is an option that is go back, back layer. There. Okay, great. Now we have to add our uh, next sprite that is rock. So just click on this choose sprite. And here I will search a rock sprite that is click on it. Now we have to uh, resize it. Just click on this size option and we have to reduce its size to 50. That's great. Now we have to add some block for our rocks code. So it will move from this position into this direction. So for this, we have to click on events and we have to 
uh, make a different copies of the sprite. So for this, we need to hide this original sprite and we have to make our clones of this uh, object that is uh, rock sprite. So we have to create clone of my cell after every one second. So after every one second, it will create this clone. When Whenever clone has been created, now we have to do when I start as a clone that is, we have to go to back one layer. So just uh, click this, go to back one layer. That's great. Now we have to show this copy, show this clone, and it will go to the random position. It will come from this position or from this position or from this position. And we have to set its Y position. It will come from this top of this position. So we have to set the Y position into 180. So we have set the position 180. Now we have to set the X position. Say, so it will come from this random direction now from uh, set the random position for this X position will be uh, from minus 190 to 190. That's great. Now we have to some match some another uh, code for our project that is foreverly. Uh, it will come from this up direction to lower direction. So it will change its Y position. So we have to click this, drag this block and we have to change this by minus eight. Now, if uh, the condition, we will apply a condition for this. So we, whenever uh, this rock uh, reach this position, it will delete this clone. So for this, we have to add some comparison operators. So there is an operator that is drag this less than block. And in this option, we have to uh, drag this Y position and we have to get minus 170. That's great. Now, whenever this rock reach to this position, so it will delete this clone. So just click on controls and click delete this clone. Now we have to try our course. So let's uh, run it. That's great. So now it's coming from random position and it's creating its clone. That's great. Now we have to make uh, another uh, sprites. Uh, it will be like water waves or speeding lines. So for this, we need a duplicate of this rock side. So just right click on it and make a duplicate. So great. So I have created a rock, so it uh, duplicate. Now just rename it to speed lines speed lines and we have to change its uh, uh, costume. So just click on the speed lines and click on this costume steps. That's great. Now we have to change its costume. We have to make some random lines for our uh, costume speed lines. So just click on this and remove and click on this delete option. So we have removed this. That's great. Now we have to draw some lines just like a speed lines. So it will like speed line two and that's great. And it's color, we have to drag this white color. Okay, and we have to change this uh, position that is uh, outline two. And on draw, we have to draw some lines. That's great. If you want to zoom it, so you can zoom it here from this position. And if you want to duplicate it, just copy it and paste it. That's great. So we have uh, added some uh, lines into the center position. That's great. Now we have to click on this flag so it will come into different positions. You can see it here. That's great. You can also make the duplicate again. So just click on this copy and you can paste it here again. So that's great. Now you have to run this. Okay, great. That's great. Now we have to add our board sprite. In this uh, board sprite, we have to do some code. So uh, the board sprite uh, and the board scott room are present in this uh, below description. You can choose it from the below description. Okay, so we have to choose a board scribe from our gallery that is uh, upload, upload option, upload sprite. So we have to click on, uh, Upload sprite that is up. That is great. So the up costume had been added. Now we have to add another costume for our uh, board sprite. So just click on this upload costume 
and we have to upload its left uh, costumes and we can also upload its right costume you can also download this costumes from my below description link okay so these three costumes have been added now we have to add some code for this costume that is and we have to rename this uh, rename this costume that is boat that's great okay good now you have to click on this board and click on this code tab now now we have to add some code for our uh, board of sprites so whenever the flag has been clicked that's great now we have to add some code for board so switch backdrop we have to this is our uh, switch backdrop to uh, blue sky so whenever we click the black, blue, blue sky backdrop has been up now we have to switch the costume switch costume to up so whenever we click so its costume will be in this direction now we have to add some go to front layer so just click this to go to front layer that's great now we have to make it in the, in the sent uh, position so we have to specify its position like in this position so just click this go to x and y position now great now we have to apply a check that is foreverly foreverly we have to check we have to check what if this boat touches this uh, rocks or this border so it will change this costume to a uh, backdrop to the game over and the game will be stopped so for this we have to add an uh, operator that is or block if this boat touches border or rock so we have to click on sensing if this boat touches touches border or touches touches what touches rock so we have to switch the backdrop to game over switch backdrop to game over and it will stop all the game so just uh, stop on that's great now we have to add some movement for our board sprite whenever we press the keyboard right arrow so it will move into the right direction whenever we we press the left arrow so it will move into the left direction for this we have to add another when flag block and we have to add another forever block and we have to add if else block for our movement so that's great whenever the key space pressed whenever the right arrow pressed so it will change the costume switch costume to right so it will the, the right costume will be appear and move five steps whenever we change the or press the right arrow so it will move into five steps and it will change the costume otherwise it will be in the original costume that is um, up up costume that's great now we have to add another uh, condition that is whenever we press left arrow so for this we have to apply if condition and whenever the left arrow pressed the left arrow press so switch costume to switch costume to left and move into minus five steps so it will move into minus five steps so that's great okay we have to just change this left arrow so whenever the left arrow has been placed so just left so now we have to try it so that's great so it's moving okay now we have to play into the full screen mode that's great you can see it here uh, it's moving like a rock and whenever it touches the border so it will come back to this position and whenever it's run to flag so that's great you can see it here it's moving like smooth direction whenever it's moving to this that's great so if this video helped you please do subscribe our channel and please like our video for more informative videos please do subscribe thanks for liking